Hi, my name is Erin Whalen of Made You Look Online. Today, I'd like to show you a simple way to increase the number of likes, comments, and shares you get on your Facebook posts. Are you ready? Let's go! I'd like to show you how to customize the images, titles, and descriptions that appear whenever you post one of your blog posts or articles on Facebook. And to show you what I mean, here's an example of a link that Jonathan Fields of The Good Life Project recently shared. As you can see, there's an image that gets pulled from the page, as well as a title for the article or blog post, and a short description or introduction to what the blog post or article is all about. All of these elements are totally customizable. So if you're linking to a blog post on your site, you can decide exactly what image you want to go with that blog post or what image appears on Facebook. And you can also specify the title and the description. And here's why you would want to do that. Sometimes you might want to have a long title on your actual blog post, but keep it short and tight on Facebook. Or maybe you want to have the description be something that's different than the first few lines of your article, which is usually what Facebook grabs when it decides what it's going to put up there, if you haven't already specified it. Okay, so let's, let's take a look at how you do that. I've got Facebook open. I'm just going to go to my website right now. And I'm going to go to my dashboard. This is what my old website looked like um, because I'm about to launch a new one. So here's what the dashboard looks like of my website. If you have WordPress, this is probably look pretty familiar to you. If you use a different kind of website builder, you may or may not be able to specify your uh, title and meta description. So I'm just going to go to posts and click on there. And I'm going to open one that I have as a draft. And here we go. If you scroll down the editing pane, woo, I want to get all the way down to the blog post. Ah, here we go. If you see, I have installed WordPress SEO by Yoast. There are several different kinds of um, SEO plugins that you can use for WordPress. I use Yoast because uh, I find it very robust and reliable, but there's also SEO, uh, what is it called? SEO all-in-one or all-in-one SEO, something like that. Um, and it's useful as well. Now, we're not going to be getting into SEO today. What we're looking at is how to specify what shows up on Facebook. So there are two things that I want you to look at here. The SEO title right here and the meta description right here. We're going to fill these two things in because whatever appears in here on your website is what is going to show up on Facebook. And another thing I want to call your attention to is right here, this featured image. Let's start with that actually. All you do is click on that link and upload a file. I'm going to use this guy right here because it goes with the title of this particular blog post. And then I'm going to click down here, this blue button right here that says set featured image. Boom! I have set the featured image. And now I am going to type in the title of this particular blog. I actually really like the title of this blog post right now, and so I'm going to use it as my title, but I don't want uh, the name of my business on there because it's too long and I don't think it's going to look very good in Facebook. So I'm just going to type in that again. Oh look, there, that's very handy. And now I'm going to type in the meta description. I want to write something here that's going to tell people what they're going to find and at the same time kind of focus on the benefits so that they get excited about wanting to learn more about it. So here's how you customize your opt-in confirmation process so you can immediately start cultivating a personal relationship with your subscribers. Mm, you know what? I like this, but I'm going to make it even more enticing by saying more. All right, here's how you customize your opt-in confirmation process so you can immediately start cultivating a more personal relationship with your subscribers. There, I've got those set. Now I am going to hit publish. Woo! Okay, so let's take a look at what it looks like on my website first. And we'll scroll down to where the blog posts are, and boom! There we go. This is what it looks like on my website. 
da 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 there's the whole blog post. We're not really going to look at that now because what I want to show you is what it looks like when I post it on Facebook. Let's get up there to... <laughs> I have a lot of stuff on my Facebook. Alright, so if I post the link here... Boom! Look at that! It's exactly what I wrote. So they've given your email address. Now what? Now I'm going to personalize this in some special way and uh, get people excited to read it. And because this particular blog post really speaks to people who use MailChimp, because I've done a whole tutorial with graphics and uh, I'm using MailChimp to show people how to do it, I want to let people know that if they use MailChimp they're going to find this especially useful. So. Here's my latest blog post. If you use MailChimp, you're going to love this. And there you go. That's what it looks like. Alright, so that's how you do it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and for more fun teaching tips on how to write effectively online, please visit my website, erinwhalen.com. Thanks!